Hello, it's Hannah, and welcome back to my channel, or hi, hello, if you're new here. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome in today's video. I'm going to be doing a orange and brown makeup look. So, uh, this look was requested by one of my subscribers from here from the YouTube community tab. She said she really wanted to know how to work with um, some browns, and she also wanted me to do something with some orange, so I kind of thought that I would just kind of mesh the two together, and we're just going to see how this looks and how it turns out. So if you would like to see me achieve a brown and orange eyeshadow look, then get out your makeup brushes, get out your makeup, and let's go ahead and get started. Something that I always do whenever I am working with a brown shadow is I'll always start out with just a lighter shade. I like to build up my browns. I'll start from lightest to the darkest. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is take my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take the shade at Creme Brulee, which is just that really nice neutral um, kind of tan color. And I'm just going to be popping this into my crease. Now this is going to work as my transition shade, as well as this is going to help me build up the intensity of the browns later on. So that way they're not super dark and they are not super harsh. Um, I did already prime my eyes with the Smashbox Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer, and I already filled in my eyebrows with the NYX Eyebrow um, Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. Another thing that I really like to do it too is sometimes I'll go in circular motions when I am applying the shadow to my crease. And then I'll kind of go back and forth. And the reason why I like to use these two methods is one, it helps diffuse the product a little bit better into the crease. And two, it helps it to blend out a whole lot easier and beautiful as well. Going into my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Silk Cream, which is just that first brown shade at the top, and I'm going to be applying that to the inner half of my little crease area. This is going to be starting to slowly build up the crease. So as you've seen earlier, we went in with a lighter shade. Now we're going into a mid-tone shade, and in a minute, we are going to deepen everything up. So I like to use this little Urban Decay eyeshadow brush. I know some people don't like these brushes, but I personally do. I think that they do a really good job of applying shadow into the crease. Going back into the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm taking the shade of Pooter, and that is just a deeper brown than what we used earlier. I'm taking it onto the same Urban Decay eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be applying that to the same area into my crease, and you're going to see that this is going to look a little bit deeper, but it's not going to look super dark and super harsh, because I feel like a lot of times with brown eyeshadows, they'll just look really, really just dark and just not pretty and just not blended but I found while using this a method of layering different shades in it just makes everything look softer more natural and just more pretty going into my Profusion Cosmetics the Honest palette I'm going to take the shade of Polite and I'm going to be applying that to my lid I want to keep this eyeshadow look super matte so that's why I'm going to be using a matte lid shade and I'm just going to be applying that with the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. After I have the lid color laid down, it is time to apply the outer corner color. So this is a really good tip in general if you ever just want to incorporate some color into your makeup routine or into your eyeshadow look, it's always really cool to pop a pop of color out onto the outer corner of the crease. I just think it looks really pretty, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm going to be taking the shade of Dynasty from the Profusion Stay Honest palette. And the reason why I'm going to be using this shade is because I feel like this specific shade is perfect for fall because it's kind of that burnt orange and it's not a neon orange and to apply it i'm just going to be using this eyeshadow brush that is from msq this is from a brand off of amazon 
I like this because it is a little bit more shorter and is a lot more thicker. So it makes applying color to the outer corner of the crease really nicely. So. I'm going to take this blending side of this Perfusion double-ended eyeshadow brush. All my other blending brushes are currently dirty, so I need to wash my brushes after I get done filming this video, especially my eyeshadow brushes, because I have a ton of eyeshadow brushes that are extremely dirty. But anyway, I'm just going to be blending out and diffusing that orange shade. That is just how the eye look is looking so far. I actually really like this. And it's actually turned out a lot better and a lot prettier than what I imagined. I definitely need to blend out the edges, which is what I'm about to do. But other than that, I think this looks super, super pretty and super fall appropriate. We are officially done with the eyeshadow. I know I already said this, but y'all, this turned out so much better than what I was anticipating. I really didn't know how this was going to look meshing brown and orange together. I was like, this might be a hot mess, but honestly, it turned out so pretty. I absolutely love, love, love it. I might actually have to recreate this and wear this out sometime um, again when I get to go out again, but I love it. So now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler, and I'm gonna be using some mascara. The mascara that I'm gonna be using is just the Mana Carta Beauty Simplified Volumizing Mascara. Um, this is an okay mascara. I like to pair this on days that I'm gonna wear false lashes, so that's a really good one to use for when you are wearing false lashes. But anyway, that is just what I'm going to be doing right now. It's time for false eyelashes, and for false lashes today, I'm going to be using the Casino lashes. These are in the style 76. Now, I know I use these lashes a ton in tutorials, but honestly, I just love these for everyday wear, and since this is kind of like an everyday look like, you definitely could wear this to work, to school, even around the house, just whatever. I didn't really want to pair this with a bold lash. I really just wanted to pair this with just a simple everyday lash. And right now, currently, this is like the only simple everyday pair of lashes that I own besides the Kiss ones. And I just feel like the Kiss ones, I've already used them in a tutorial already, and I don't know what tutorials are going to be up for when, so I'm just going to use these. And to apply them, I'm going to be using this metal eyelash applicator from Beauty Big Bang, and then I'm going to be using my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, and it's in the black one instead of the clear one. Not the biggest fan of it, but I'm hoping to get a clear glue soon. So I went off camera, did my foundation, my concealer, and my powder, so now I am back. And while I was doing all that, I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to do for my lower lash line. Did I want to smoke some orange down there? Did I want to do something different? So I think I want to do something different. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is applying a little bit of gold eyeliner from Maybelline. This is just their Lasting Drama Eyeliner Pencil, and this is just in the shade of gold. And I'm going to be applying that to my waterline. Alrighty, so for my lower lash line area, I'm going to take the uh, Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the shade Olive U, which is just that really pretty olive green color because I decided that I want to pop a little bit of olive green into my lower lash line because olive green is a fall color. And to apply it, I'm just going to be using this little concealer brush from e.l.f. be using a little bit of lower lash mascara and I'm going in with the same Mana Carta mascara that I used on my upper lashes for my lower lashes. And my lash line done, it is time to warm up my complexion. So to do that, I'm going to be using the Ciate London Bronzer. This is their Bamboo Bronzer. Now, I'm hoping to get a new bronzer really, really soon. Um, Marc Jacobs actually just released like this little kit 
off of the Amazon website. And it was really cool because it has their bronzer in it and then it has a mascara. Um, and it's all travel size, but the bronzer, because that thing's like humongous, the travel size is humongous, it looks like as well. Or it could be small, I don't know. Either way, I really want to get that kit and I really want to try it out. Um, so I'm currently saving up my money to uh, do that. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be using this big fluffy brush right here to apply the bronzer to my face. Alright, so this was probably really hard because I wanted to pick a blush that looked fallish, but I don't really feel like I have any blushes that look super fallish other than this one. This one's from La Chi Plus Gold, and this is just their Healthy Glow Rose Gold Blush, and this is from the Sapphire Collection. I don't really know what shade this blush is in. Um, cause it just says back here on the back rose gold, so I'm assuming that's what the shade name of this blush is, is rose gold. And it just looks like that. It has really pretty hints of shimmer, um, that is rose gold and just regular gold in the blush. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually really like it, so to apply it, I'm just going to be using this angled blush brush. Now it comes to my favorite part of makeup. Well, I love all aspects of makeup, but this is one of my absolute favorites, and that is highlighter. So for highlighter today, I'm going to be using my Estate Highlighter in the shade of Doomy. Now, believe it or not, I actually was not going to use highlighter in this tutorial. I was going to keep things very matte, which you could definitely do. I'm not going to do that because as we all know, I love my highlighter and I just cannot live without it. So, I'm going to be applying this to the high points of my cheekbones. And to apply it, I'm just going to be using this highlight brush from Chiquique. Alrighty, and now we're going to be finishing off this look with my other favorite step in makeup, and that is lips. So for lips, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D, or now known as KBD Beauty Vegan um, Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Ludwig, and this used to be my absolute favorite nude liquid lipstick. I used to wear this all the time, and it's not that I don't like it anymore or anything like that. I was using this so much that like I literally had to force myself to use other lip products. So I decided to dig this back out today for this makeup look. So we are just going to be applying it and then I'm going to be done. y'all so this is the completed makeup look i really hope that you all did enjoy this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up down below also don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're down there as well because i'm here for you with new videos every thursday saturdays and mondays at 6 or 6 30 p.m eastern time don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that way you'll get notified every single time i upload a video because i've been looking at my analytics lately and i don't really think half of y'all are getting notified that I am uploading videos. So I want to make sure that everybody knows when I'm uploading my videos. So be sure to turn your notifications on. You can also give me a follow over on social media as well. That's another good way to keep a lookout when I post and upload new videos. You can also see a little behind the scenes of looks that I've created or looks that's coming up or anything like that. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in Saturday's video. Bye, my little unicorns.